In this question, we have an experiment where an ice cube is dropped into water and we have to calculate the specific latent heat of fusion of ice based on the data given for the experiment. To solve this question, we will calculate the energy gained by the ice during the process and equate it to the energy lost by the water. Let's start by finding the energy gained by the ice. I will label this energy QI. First, the ice cube melts. To calculate the energy gained by the ice during melting, we will use this equation from subtopic 3.1, where Q is energy, M is mass, and L is specific latent heat of fusion. Substituting, we get 25 grams, which I will convert into kilograms, giving me 0 0.025, multiplied by the specific latent heat of fusion of ice, L. After the ice cube has melted, the water resulting from the melting process heats up from 0 degrees to 12 degrees, which is the final temperature of the water. To calculate the energy gained during this phase, we will use this equation from subtopic 3.1, where Q is energy, M is mass, C is the specific heat capacity of water, and delta T is change in temperature. Substituting, we get the mass of the melted ice, which is still 25 grams, so 0 0.025 kilograms, multiplied by C, which is given to be 4200, times the temperature change, and since the temperature changes from 0 to 12 degrees, delta T is equal to 12. Carrying out the calculation and simplifying, we get QI, is equal to 0.025 L plus 1260. So this is the energy gained by the initial ice cube during the process. Next, let's find QW, the energy lost by the 350 grams of water. Since there is no phase change, but the water simply cools down, we will use the first equation from subtopic 3.1, and substituting, we get the mass, which is 350 grams, and I will convert it into kilograms, giving me 0 0.35 kilograms, multiplied by C, which is 4200, times delta T, and since the water cools down from 18 degrees to 12 degrees, delta T is equal to 6. Carrying out this calculation gives us 8820 joules. This is the energy lost by the water during the process. Since the energy gained by the ice is equal to the energy lost by the water, we can equate QI to QW. Working further, we get 0 0.025 L plus 1260 equal to 8820. Rearranging for L, so subtracting 1260 and dividing by 0 0.025, we get L is equal to 302,400 joules per kilogram, or 3.02 times 10 to the power of 5 joules per kilogram. You can give either one of these values as your final answer for the specific latent heat of fusion of ice.